Hello, besties, friends, how are we? Okay, so I am starting a new vlog right now, and this is a collaboration vlog. So, this is a collaboration with Brittany from Brittany Loves Reading and Rainy from Rainy Blue Reads. We are all participating in Realmathon, and we are all on Team Cyrus, which is the romance team. So, Brittany came up with an idea to collab on a vlog where we pick books based off of Miley Cyrus songs. Team Cyrus, Miley Cyrus. Cute. Anyways, so we've each picked a song from this by Miley Cyrus. So the song that I picked was Flowers. Rainy's pick was Prisoner, which is Miley Cyrus and Dua Lipa. And Britney's pick was River. So the I have three books here, three books that I picked based off of those three songs. So the book that I picked for Flowers is Delilah Green Doesn't Care. This is a sapphic novel um, by Ashley Herring Blake. I believe this is the first one in the series. I don't remember what the series is called. Um, because I'm terrible. I don't really know a lot about this book other than I know that it's a series um, that follows sisters, sisters, best friends, something like that. Anyhow, I do not know a lot about this. I do know that it has to do with a wedding um, because Delilah's stepsister Yes, her stepsister, Astrid, is, gets married in this book. And then somewhere there's a romance that ensues between Delilah and Astrid's best friend, Claire. So, that's what that is. I have no idea about this book. Rainy sent me this book. She gave it five stars. I hope to give it five stars as well. The next book that I have is Stolen Air. This is by Sophie Lark, and this is going to fit the song prisoner this is a beauty and the beast retelling and that's really all that i know this is part of the like the brutal birthright series so the first one is brutal prince this is the second one and yeah that's really all i know about this book also i have the um illustrated version so I have the illustrated version of these books and also these are like the discrete covers. So there's that. And the book that I am choosing to read because I need to get it off of my TBR. Also my grandma gave me this book so I want to read it so I can say that I read it but also get it off my TBR is Where the Crawdads Sing. So this is for the River Prompt. This is a historical fiction. I don't know a ton about this book if I'm going to be honest with you. Um, originally, I was not going to read this book because I know that the author of this is problematic. However, over Thanksgiving, my grandma gave me this book and I've hinted at it in sprints and said that I probably just wouldn't talk about it on my channel. Obviously, now I'm going to talk about it on my channel because I'm going to read it. So, I am part of the way through two of these books. So I have started Delilah Green Doesn't Care. This is a 400 page book. So I'm actually listening to this on audio. I bought the audio audio off of Audible. And then I have the ebook for Where the Crawdads Sing because if you haven't been watching my other vlogs or been on sprints, I'm having a lot of trouble reading physically. I started trying to read this book physically. I read the first chapter and I was like, this is not gonna happen. So I grabbed it from the library. So I do have it on my kindle obviously this has like the movie cover i don't care about that but so i am um two chapters into where the, sorry my alarm went off and it cut me off but i am two chapters into where the crawdads sing and i am about five chapters into delilah green doesn't care again i'm doing this on audio and this one um as an ebook and then I'm probably going to once I finish one of these I will probably go ahead and probably when I finish where the crowd sing I will go ahead and grab stolen air off of Kindle Unlimited um, unless I can get myself 
to read this. I do have the audio for this, so I may sit with the book. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to sit with the book and listen to the audio and read it because I want to be able to look at all of the pictures. So, that's what I have. As soon as I have an update for any of these, I will check back in. But until then, bye. Hello. All right. So, a quick update for the vlog because I've not done an update in a while. So, I am sitting in my little book corner here. I think this is gonna start just being, wow, embarrassing. Um, <laughs> my filming spot at this point, just because I like the aesthetic of my books behind me and all that. So let me do a quick update. I did not want to DNF for this vlog, but it's happening. So the book that I picked for River I'm going to be DNFing. So the book that I picked was Where the Crawdads Sing. Y'all. I just don't care. If I'm going to be honest. Like, I just, I don't care. And I want to care if I'm going to read this book. <laughs> I don't care. I only made it to chapter two and I was like... There's things that happen in the, I think there's a prologue in this, but there's things that happen in the first chapter that I should care about. Like, in any other book, I would care. Okay, so there's, yeah, there's a one-page prologue, and then it goes into chapter one. And I just feel like there are things that happen in the prologue, which is only a page, right? And then there are things that also happen in the, se in the first chapter that I should care about. And I did not care. I did not care. So I think I'm going to skip the movie on this. I was going to watch the movie. Um, I did not care though. I'm sorry. Um, if my grandma is watching this, she gave me this book. And I'm glad, grandma, that you loved this book. I did not. I'm sorry. Now, this book I knew would either be a hit or a miss for me. Like it would be one or the other because I'm not a historical fiction girly and this is historical fiction. But the premise of this book sounded good to me. Also, I am aware before anyone comes into the comments saying something that this author and her husband are extremely problematic. I actually knew about that before ever being given this book. So originally I wasn't even gonna read this. Then my grandma gave it to me and did not know the controversy and was like I really love this book so I was like okay let me try it's a no for me dog that's all I'm gonna say we're gonna leave it at that however I am about 75% through Delilah Green doesn't care and this book <laughs> baby I love this book and I care you know what I'm saying like I know Delilah doesn't but I I love this book. Okay, so this book is um, about Delilah Green, and she has to go back for her stepsister's wedding. So this book I picked for my song, which is Flowers. I can buy myself flowers, write my name in the sand. Okay, let me stop. Anyway, this is the book I picked for Flowers. We love this book. Also, I only didn't sing Britney's song because I don't know that song very well. Like, I know the song, but I don't know it well enough to sing it. And I don't want to embarrass myself on the internet any more than I already do. Okay, Delilah Green. So, Delilah goes back to photograph her stepsister Astrid's um, wedding. And when she's there, clearly she has to deal with Astrid and the bridesmaids and is a Isabel, I think her name is, which is a stepmom, um, all of the people, right? And this is about Delilah and Claire. So Claire is Astrid's best friend and her maid of honor. And <laughs> Delilah and Astrid decide that, or not Delilah and Astrid, disgusting, no, Delilah and Claire, um, they fall for each other. Okay, so Claire has been married to a man. So Delilah is a lesbian and Claire is bisexual and 
Claire was previously married to a man who got they got pregnant in high school um I think his name is Josh let me just check because I'm gonna feel badly if I don't remember this man's name yes Josh okay so Claire was married previously married to Josh who was her high school boyfriend and they got pregnant in high school so they got married as happens um I will yeah her daughter is 11 years old in this book I absolutely love her daughter <laughs> she is I mean I feel like her daughter will be like like personality wise like the way that she presents herself it reminds me of Ari and like what Ari will be like at 11 and I'm not ready for that but like in this book I love I love her um her name is Ruby and she's great so Delilah no not Delilah um Claire was previously married to Josh they are now divorced and co-parenting um Ruby and so Delilah and Claire have to kind of do the thing now they have to like you know they're they say that they're just gonna have like casual sex right um also my hair looks way more red on my phone camera than it does on my computer camera maybe I need to upgrade my computer camera maybe I need to get like an actual webcam um so that's what this is it is sapphic it is gray I love it it is steamy y'all like I'm this far through and there were only a few um like steamy scenes but they are steamy you understand like it's not like sex through the whole book or anything like that because it's a relatively slow burn but it is steamy like once it gets steamy it's there um I love this book so the biggest thing that I love about this book personally is the bisexual rep now I do not identify any longer as bisexual I actually identify as pansexual however in a past life I did identify as bisexual because when I came out there wasn't like pansexuality wasn't really a thing or at least it wasn't like talked about so the box that I put myself in was bisexuality that doesn't really fit and also now um I know that this is not necessarily like the greatest word to use but for me personally I wouldn't call anyone else this but for me personally I honestly identify more as being queer than I do as like a specific sexuality but if someone was to ask me I would tell them pansexual because that's the closest other than being queer so <laughs> the bisexuality the bisexual rep in this book I need to give Ashley Herring Blake a round of applause so bisexual people do not tend to get good representation in literature or in film at all like they are looked at as not knowing or being like indecisive and Claire is very confident in her bisexuality and her friends at least Iris because I guess Astra doesn't really talk about Claire's bisexuality that often um but the banter between Iris and Claire which Iris is the is Astra's other best friend around her and her bisexuality is great because it's definitely like a you could date a guy you could date a girl you could date whoever you want type thing as opposed to like well you were with josh so i would not want to be with a man you know what i mean mm. also a lot of talk about how terrible men are <laughs> which we love you know what i'm saying so those are my updates i am going to probably be finishing this tonight um i don't have like a super long time on the audio like less than two hours at this point um so I may finish it on the audio but I also have it as an ebook on my kindle because I got it from the library so it's syncing between the two so I may also just like lay in bed and just read the rest but I'm gonna finish this tonight and then the last book that I have is Stolen Air I do have to talk to Rainy and see when she wants to start this we have like a week to read it I do have this on audio as well but my copy I think I said this before but my copy is also illustrated I'm not going to show you a bunch of illustrations because they do get steamy further back in the book but mine is illustrated so I would kind of like to read this with the audio just so I can look at the pictures 
but I could also just grab it on Kindle Unlimited because I think the illustrated version is on Kindle Unlimited. So I could read it that way and still get to like look at the pictures because that's, yeah, I really, I really enjoy the photos that are in or the drawings that are in this book. Also, because we were talking about it, Mikolaj, he is, bro, he is so hot. Like, I know he's a drawing and like fictional man. <laughs> Um, I, I know that, but where is the picture of Michael Walsh? Because I want to just put it on camera, but we were talking about it tonight, um, in sprints. I did sprints with Brooklyn and Leandra and like the detail in his tattoos, like, look at that. My God, like, wow. You know what I'm saying? But that's it. Okay. So that's what we have i have dnf'd where the crawdad's sing and i am almost done with delilah green doesn't care this is gonna be five stars so i'm speaking into existence right now so when i have finished actually you're probably gonna get an update tomorrow but when i finish delilah green i will update um but yeah thank you for listening to me rant about one book and praise a whole other <laughs> i'll see you in the next clip hello all right, so a quick update for this vlog. I finished Delilah Green Doesn't Care earlier today. Um, I'm giving it five stars. So I did end up finishing it, um, like I said, earlier this afternoon. Absolutely loved it. So I can't wait to read Iris's book. I think that comes out like later this year. But there is an Astrid book in between. So I did borrow that one from the library and it told me it had like three weeks and then they gave it to me today, like within like an hour of me putting it on hold. So I'm going to go ahead and read it. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna like Astrid's book as much just because I didn't really love Astrid as a character. If I'm gonna be honest, I do have a few credits from Audible um, that I may go ahead and use because I could get Astrid and then like, um, what am I trying to say? Pre-order Iris. So I may do that because I do want Iris's book. I don't know that I care about Astrid. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to keep the ebook from the library, but also download the audiobook. Like I think I'm gonna buy the audiobook because I would actually like to have like the whole series you know what I mean um so I think that's what I'm gonna do so now at this point I've dnf one book and finished one book so the last book that I have is Stolen Air I'm just waiting for Rainy to decide that she's ready to read Stolen Air um she wasn't quite ready today when I text her so whenever she's ready I will go ahead and pick that back up like I said I think I read the first nine chapters with the audio but I think I'm gonna start it over because I don't really remember a ton of things that happened so I'm probably just gonna start from the beginning and go from there so that is where we're going so I DNF'd the book that was for the song River which was for the crawdads thing and I completed the song for flowers which is Delilah Green doesn't care and I gave it five stars so yeah which I just remember that I um uploaded the wrong thing for my Instagram today so also if you want up to date um like what i've read in a month things um go follow me on instagram because i post like a graphic in my stories every time i finish a book but i just realized that i did forget um to add where the crowd i'd say into my dnfs which clearly tells you how much i enjoyed this book even though i barely read 10 percent so that's where we're at so as soon as i have another update i will go ahead and give you guys one but as of right now i feel like we're you know one well like two down one to go but also like only one was really actually good to me which is sad because i i actually did want to like read the crowd thing but i just mm -mm, i just couldn't get past like what was going on in there so that's all i have i'm gonna make some food and then probably go to bed but i want to make sure that i updated before i did that so
let me know if you like these collab videos i like doing collab videos with my friends so <laughs> it's fun you know what i mean and i think rainy and i are going to do some when i'm at her house next week um when you see this i it'll be like three days before i go to rainy's so it's gonna be so fun but that's all i have um let me know if you guys have read Delilah Green and what you thought of it and also let me know if you read Where the Crawdads Sing and what you thought of that because I feel like I'm in the minority of people that didn't like or DNF this book but I did have a couple of people that were talking to me about it on my sprints on Thursday so for reference today is Friday so last night I had sprints and I had a few people that said that they also didn't like it and that they also like tried to watch the movie and didn't like that either so I might still try the movie just to see if because like the story is captivating to me like the the summary like the premise of the story is captivating but to actually read it it's just mm, I don't like the writing style did not enjoy but let me know if you liked the book and also let me know if you read Delilah Green and if you like that because it seems like everyone likes Delilah Green and I'll see y'all in the next update